Welcome to a full 2024 reboot of Fallout Shelter Mobile. Now what we're going to do is start a new game. And what vault number are we going to go with? <laughs> if you've seen the new TV series, you know why. It's Vault 33. Okay, so we have to go through uh, some mandatory bits. I'm skipping out most of it. Uh, so you put your two dwellers into your power room. Now note the location that I've built it. I am globally the number one Fallout Shelter creator, so stick with me for this series if you're playing on mobile to see what's what and check out all my other Fallout Shelter content for uh, a guide as to how to do the layout of your shelter. So you will see I've done the power room, one below the living quarters, the water treatment to the right and the diner below that. I'm going to turn off tips because I don't need them and uh, get that closed and even we get a fallout tv show item on this episode as well which lasts for about 22 minutes you will see later next you want to build another living quarters uh, the reason for that i'm using the initial caps here to initially expand the living quarters because we're going to bulldoze and demolish the one on the top floor now that person is max agility that person is perception this person is nothing in particular and i'm referencing their special stats here so a water treatment facility requires perception a diner requires agility and a power room requires strength uh, now we also have these objectives uh, which will get us some lunch boxes we're going to open quite a few over the course of this episode uh, we're going to dump this person down into the living quarters this person is perception uh, really uh, so we'll put them into the water treatment facility and this person is strength that's handy now our room isn't big enough uh, so what we will do is dump them into the living quarters we do need to increase the room uh, the power room but we can't at the moment we're going to demolish that living quarters that gives us 20 additional caps and we're going to take it from here now early in the game there's not a huge amount you can do uh, but stay with uh, no little gaming here uh, to learn how to make a successful bolt in the wasteland. So there we go, first lunchbox already. Straight away, click up for it and open it. Let's fingers crossed we get some legendaries. Ooh, 500 caps, very handy. Uh, some bespoke attire, that's good for levelling up gentlemen. A microscope, a stim pack, and ooh, a rare dweller. Nice, Jessica Mitchell. Okay, so Jessica is a rare dweller. She has strength as her main attribute. So we are going to increase our power room to a two wide. You can go a maximum three wide for most rooms. Uh, apart from the overseer's office, which is a default two wide. But you'll see that in later episodes as I produce them. Okay, so she is strength. We'll get her in and get her outfit off. Uh, that person is strength three, so we'll get them in there as well. Uh, this person is literally charisma, intelligence and agility, uh, so we could put them into the diner. Uh, so we could expand our diner, ideally we need to expand both anyway. So water treatment, now double wide, and we'll do the same with the diner, double wide. Okay, so there's enough space, and if you look at the top of the screen, you will see your power, your food and your water. Uh, now power, we're about to go red, which is not good. Uh, but that's fine for now. We're going to send her into the wasteland to explore. We have no weapons, no pets at the moment, which is fine because as soon as she gets outside, uh, we will complete that objective and we will recall her back into the vault. There is no point in sending her into the wasteland uh, without any equipment. That's uh, not a particularly good idea. Okay, so off she trots. There we go, send one dweller to the wasteland, that's been completed, so recall and close, and we have a new dweller as well. Okay, so we've got some caps, fantastic. Next objective, level up one dweller, and that will be another lunchbox. Now at the beginning of the game it is very generous with lunchboxes, but you will see that because this is Fallout Shelter Mobile, you do have the option to rush rooms using an advert and also once every four hours getting potential resources, lunchboxes, or pet carriers, or Nuka-Cola Quantums 
uh, by watching adverts as well. My main content, which is 115 episodes long at the moment for Fallout Shelter, uh, that was rebooted in 2023, is on Steam, which means you do not get adverts and you do not get the ability um, to get free resources. You have to uh, basically grind for everything. Uh, so mobile is a bit more generous. Uh, which is good, because uh, it's on mobile, it should be a little bit more generous than on PC. And uh, yes, I will be carrying on this series, so I'm excited to be rebooting Fallout Shelter Mobile in 2024. Luckily our power is ready, and what we will do is use an advert for a guaranteed rush. Now you can only do that once every two or three hours, uh, I think it's two hours actually. Um, and we can level up this Dweller finally. Now, luckily we got E plus 4, Bespoke Tire, which means when he levels up, he gets more hit points. The higher a Dweller's Endurance, the more HP they get when they level up. Uh, so ideally you want to be using Endurance there. Oh, Rusty Hunting Rifle, 100 caps, some duct tape, right away. Ooh, that's from Fallout, the TV series, the hardened Trank Gun, oh yes. Uh, I won't give any spoilers, but that is a weapon in the new Fallout TV series. So let's give a rusty hunting rifle over here. Oh, we've got some more caps. Lovely. See what our objectives are now. 50 food, 100 power, and 50 water. Okay, not too difficult to achieve. Hardened trank gun for you. There we go. And we've got you wandering around the vault. Uh, we can put you into the diner because you've got two agility. Okay, what are you, sir? You are Perception. Uh, endurance, technically, but will work in the water treatment facility. And also, you'll notice at the top of the vault, you have a happiness percentage. Now, this happiness percentage is dictated entirely by dwellers being in the correct rooms. Uh, it doesn't really make it that clear when you first start the game. So, whatever their special stats are, whatever their highest special stat is, if that's agility, perception, or strength, or intelligence for creating medication or radaways, uh, then they are the rooms that will make them happiest. If you put them in a room where they have zero skill, they will become unhappy. In fact, we're going to sell, uh, put old Roger, I think it's Roger, down in the diner, who is not uh, high on the agility scale. He's going to get quite sad. Uh, we're going to get him to have some fun with one of the female vault dwellers uh, to get her pregnant uh, before this episode finishes. Uh, so again, something to show. So you have all of here, you have your survival guide, your help and your stats. Uh, the stats basically gives you an overview of your vault and the almanac basically details all items that you have found. You must build the overseer's office. Yes, that's right. You can't do quests. Now, there is a shop. I always do these playthroughs completely free, so I never spend real-world money uh, on doing the playthroughs, just to show that it can be done. Uh, you don't need to spend money. But if you choose to buy a starter pack, for example, uh, when I first started playing Fallout Shelter eight years ago, I did buy uh, the starter pack. Um, so if it's something that you want to do, go ahead, rock on. You get a guaranteed rare dweller and a load of additional resources. Uh, so it does give you a lift up at the beginning of the game. But I will be doing this free to play, fully free to play, without paying for anything with real world money. So there we go. Right, all of our dwellers that are ready to level up a female, which we can't use bespoke attire on because it is a male outfit. Uh, so we are left in the position where... Uh, we don't really want to level people up, but at the end of the day, long term, it doesn't really matter because we will replace all of these dwellers eventually with new ones uh, in the long term. If you go to my, as I said, my big series, which is over a hundred episodes long, you'll get the idea of what your vault layout should be because it doesn't change between Steam and mobile and console. I just wanted to reboot this series because the only version of uh, Fallout Shelter that's being updated is mobile. Uh, the same as the 25th anniversary. Uh, they only updated mobile as well, which is a shame. It would be nice if they updated the Steam version, but uh, I don't think it's going to happen. Although I can't complain because we've got new Fallout 4 content as well coming soon. Uh, which I'm very much looking forward to. Uh, go ahead and you can check out my Fallout 4 live streams. 
uh, to uh, check that out as well. Uh, that's up to 68 live streams, I think, so 136 hours of content. Right, our power's ready. Lovely. I mean, early on in the game like this, you are pretty much sitting here waiting for stuff to happen. Bear in mind, when you log out of the game, uh, the game will carry on running in the background for about 10-15 minutes and then it will stop. Uh, and then when you go back in, all of your resource rooms will be ready. Um, and you'll be able to collect all those resources when you log back into the game. But I'm doing an extended session here purely to show you guys. So again, you have to build the overseer's office before you can do quests. We're nearly at the watermark for another lunchbox, which will be good. Because we want to get as many as possible at the beginning of the game. The daily report happens every 24 hours. So if you log in once a day around the same time, you will get a daily evaluation, which will give you some free caps. And if you log in, and it's uh, not iterative, so if you log in on Monday and don't log in on Tuesday and then play on Wednesday, you're fine. It still goes one day at a time. And then after you've logged in on seven concurrent days, uh, you can have gaps in the middle, that's fine. You'll get a free lunchbox, uh, so that's worth doing as well. Right, David here is a uni uh, special. He has no particular special stat, uh, so we'll just dump him down into living quarters, and we've unlocked our first room. Now this will be the storage facility, uh, which we will need to build because uh, your storage is limited to 10 without a storage room, uh, so we do want to expand our storage. Just having a look at all these different dwellers, just having a look at what their specials are, uh, just making sure everyone is in the right place. Okay, so we've got this chap here, he is literally two agi agility and two strength, so he's as happy in the diner as he is in um, the power facility. And let's unlock our storage room. The next room that we will unlock before the end of this episode, but not build, is the med bay, which creates stim packs, which of course if you've watched the Fallout TV series you will see uh, and have seen. Uh, stim packs are these magical devices that can cure anything uh, from the Fallout universe and are very it handy items to have. The same as Radaways, which get rid of radiation. Okay, 44, come on. Let's get some water. Come on, how long do we have left? Ooh, 12 seconds. Okay, and we're gonna get another lunchbox. Oh, 12 seconds seems like a lifetime. Here we go, another lunchbox. Clicky, clicky, and straight up to our supply. And let's have a look, what do we get? Oh, legendary item. Okay, well that's used for crafting legendary weapons. That's probably about 100 hours of play away, but hey, hey. 50 power, always good. Oh, country girl, strength plus four. Cool, cool. 100 caps. Ooh, lead belcher. Nice. Legendary minigun. That's almost as good as caps, which of course is the currency in the Fallout universe. Okay, so we've equipped our gun, and it's also good to hear that the TV series has been renewed already for Season 2 as well, because I love everything Fallout. Um, you will see that from my channel. Uh, I've always been a gamer, but the uh, Fallout universe is just awesome. Oh, a quick dweller with an outfit. That's another lunchbox. We didn't even check our objectives. Oh, that's the overseer's office. Let's not keep clicking on that. Uh, we're back to just caps for everything, but that's fine. Let's open this lunchbox. Okay, what are we going to get? A magnifying glass. Oh, some military fatigues. Cool. Another 100 caps. Always good. A rat away. And a sleazy suit. Uh, well, that is another new item from the Fallout TV series. A sleazy suit. There we go, 25 caps, and I won't give anything away, but I know the guy that is wearing the sleazy suit. Okay, we've got some more power, lovely. We've had another dweller turn up at the door, let's have a look. Uh, literally universal across the board, so it doesn't matter where she goes. And we have four dwellers in each room, which is maximum occupancy, which means we need to build another room, uh, and we can build another diner. Uh, so food is currently our worst uh, resource, so that's the one that we will expand to three wide first. And we now have the option to watch adverts. So see the little play button on, uh, here? Let's do it. Let's see what we get. 
Oh, we got caps. Very good. So we've got 600 cap, well, 500 caps for that. I would have preferred a lunchbox or a pet carrier, but at the same time, not going to complain because that allows us to expand our vault a little bit further um, before we uh, get to the end of the episode. So we're going to expand our power room and we will also expand our water treatment facility. Now I have deliberately, so we'll put the military fatigues on the guy, which improves his strength. And we've also got, uh, nope, we've already used the country girl, haven't we? Uh, so that's it, we can't put any more outfits on, which is fine. Uh, because the sleazy, uh, sleazy outfit is charisma and intelligence, uh, which we don't have any rooms that use those. Apart from the living quarters, because high charisma makes it easier for people to seduce each other and go and have a baby in the living quarters. Which again, I will show you before we finish this first episode and uh, full reboot for 2024. Anything you want to know about Fallout Shelter, please drop a comment down below. I respond to... Oh, night failed. We need to immediately go and get a weapon. So let's go up to the Iron Belcher, Lead Belcher even, and put it on this girl. There we go, so she can kill the Rad Roaches. There we go, they're dead because it's a level 1 room. So that was nice and easy. Might as well level these guys up now to put their health back to 100%. And give her back no weapon and assign the weapon back to this room here. Now the reason any weapons you get you want to have in your water treatment facility in your power room. Is if any raiders break through the front door. So break through the vault door. That's what you're going to want. You're going to want to have weapons on the people in those rooms so that they can defend themselves. Sell one weapon or outfit. We are not going to be doing that. Uh, so what you can do is you can get rid of one objective a day for free. And there we go. We've got level up one dweller for a lunchbox again. So we can literally just click on that to be fair. There we go. Another lunchbox. Fantastic. Let's open it up and see what's inside. And we've got to equip uh, a dweller with an outfit for another lunchbox as well. Lovely jubbly. Right, okay. Open up the lunchbox, see what's what. Another gold watch. Wow, that's uh, that's unusual actually. The uh, random number generator is kind. Stim pack. An elder robe. A legendary outfit. Wow, okay. And 500 caps. Not going to complain about that either. Wow, that was very generous. I've had some much worse playthroughs. <laughs> but of course the thing is with lunchboxes, it is literally down to a random number generator or the loot fairy, depending on which way you want to put it, on how lucky you are going to be. So we can put the Elder Robe on there, which is Charisma 4, Agility 3, to boost that person's agility. And of course we've now got another lunchbox, and we've collected 100 power. All the objectives are flying through. Okay, time to get another lunchbox. Come on, give us another dweller. Give us a rare dweller. Okay, 50 water. Some military duct tape. Another legendary item. 10 mil pistol. 100 caps. Haha, <laughs> Dorothy Green. A rare dweller. Lovely. Okay, not bad. Not a bad start, actually. As I said, I've had some much worse starts. And here's, here's another piece of advice. If you're starting Fallout Shelter for the first time because you've seen the Fallout TV series and it brought you to this game, uh, then if you have a really bad series of lunchboxes, you've got three save file slots in Fallout Shelter. Start again. I mean, if you literally get crap items for everything, just, just start another vault. You can call it th the same number as well, because I'm, I'm guessing a lot of you are going to be calling it Vault 33. But Vault 111 is another famous one, Vault 88 is famous, Vault 76 is famous, and there are loads of famous Vault numbers uh, within the Fallout universe. And again, if you are now in interested in watching uh, Fallout 4 content, then check out my channel. I do live stream normally once a week, uh, unless I'm on holiday. Okay, food is ready. Fantastic, but not great. If you look at the top, our food resource, as I said, is our worst resource. Now, what we could try and do is rush the room, but of course it failed before, uh, so I don't particularly want to do another rush. And the other thing is, if you fail a rush, the percentage chance of an, in of an incident is massively higher if you try and do a second rush in the same room, so it's not really worth it. We can now finally expand our water treatment facility, so now all three of our resource producing rooms are the same size. 
and that leaves us in a relatively good position uh, for this first episode and as I said I was fairly lucky there with the lunch boxes I'm sure I'll get some comments underneath uh, with how unlucky you guys have been but don't worry I've been there and as I said you've got three safe file slots so feel free to start it again um, because it is a bit of a pain if uh, you don't get good items right at the beginning of the game I mean that legendary weapon I got is going to do really well on quests Okay, so increases the vault of the health. That say that again. Increase the health of the vault door. Now that's a really important upgrade, as one of the first things to level up. Because what it does is, if you get some raiders trying to hack into the vault door, uh, it will give you a bit more time to organise yourself, uh, so that you can defend your vault. Early on in the game, it won't be too difficult. Uh, but later on in the game, you will get some much bigger nasties trying to get in through your vault door. Uh, not going to give anything away, because uh, a lot of you watching this may well be new to the game. I've been playing Fallout Shelter now for over eight years. Uh, and producing content on YouTube for over five years. And globally, I am the number one Fallout Shelter uh, content creator. Uh, by not just by volume of content but frequency and the fact that most of my content is the most recent and I ha have a much longer period of experience with playing Fallout Shelter as well so uh, hope you enjoy the ride and it proves as helpful as my other Fallout Shelter series is, have proven for users uh, and watchers on YouTube and if you're not subscribed please do so and also if you could even if you don't subscribe if you could boot the like button that would be massively helpful um, for the algorithm and everything else so uh, that would be greatly appreciated so we've sent these two into the room now she's got high charisma he had relatively high charisma look at that sad face oh but they're dancing oh look at that suddenly he's happy I mean it's like it's like making babies is a fun thing off they go, they'll disappear now and magic will happen. So off they go. Are you a book in the vault library? Because I am checking you out. Some of the chat up lines here are hilarious for them to uh, to uh, go and uh, create magic. And shortly they will pop back out again. Here we go. 25 caps. Lovely stuff. And here they come, so you will find that she is now pregnant. And with that pregnancy, it's fairly good time to uh, roll up this first episode for the 2024 reboot of Fallout Shelter Mobile that includes content for the Fallout TV series. All it leaves me to say is good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, and see you on the next episode.